So you've gone to the pantry to grab some noodles, but there's none there. Don't panic, because Richo is here, and I will show you how easy it is to make noodles fresh in your own home. And it's easy as grabbing a bowl of flour. In my bowl here, I have three cups of flour. Now you can get that fancy double O, triple O, quadruple O flour that is really strong, but don't worry, this plain flour is all you need. Now to that, I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt because you want everything to taste nice, and a good pinch of salt is essential with that. A little drizzle of sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, don't worry. It is a great way of adding flavor to it, and just a tiny bit is all you need. It is quite strong, so I've added about half a teaspoon. Now to that, I'm going to add approximately 200 mils of water. Now I add most of it and hold some of it back. With a wooden spoon, I stir it around really, really gently. You wanna incorporate that water into the flour till it becomes a nice round dough. You can see this is a little bit dry at the moment, so I'll add a tiny little bit of water to it. Now this is the fun bit. You can get your hands into here, and I prefer to make it with my hands. I get it round like this and just stir it round with my fingers and just stir it round like that until the dough starts to come together. If you feel it, it does feel quite soft. And if you want to add more water, you do. But I just move it around like this until the flour is nearly all incorporated. Now, I can see it's a little bit dry and you can see there's not a lot of water down the bottom here. So I just add a tiny little bit of water to that and just move it around. And you'll find that tiny little bit of water is enough to soak up all that flour. Just keep moving it around like this till it starts to come together. And once you've got it together, or most of it together, then all you need to do is to bring it together. All you need to do is to bring it together onto the bench. Just grab it like that, and you can see that's forming up beautifully. And as you, as you move it around like this, you can feel these sticky bits here. You just grab those bits of flour, and just move it around like that. Now, it does require a little bit of kneading to get it together, and you can see it is slowly coming together. A lot of people throw this into their mixer. I don't like to do that because your mixer is great for whisking and beating, but whacking a dough together is not great for your mixer. So you see, you can see it got it together like that. It's a nice smooth dough, and it is quite soft. It's almost ready to roll out. Now, a good idea is to let it rest for a little bit, wrap it up in a plastic bag, and I've got one here. Just grab it like that, open it up like that, pop it in the plastic bag, and let it rest for about half an hour. And while it's resting, give you a good chance to make maybe a refreshing little drink. My doctor said I should stay hydrated at all times. There we go. Pour that straight into there like that. Just have to wait half an hour. Now, once your dough is rested, it'll be nice and soft like that. Now, this is the time you're gonna roll it out. A little bit of flour on the bench like this or a chopping board, whatever you wanna use. And I just use a rolling pin. If you have got a pasta machine, you can roll it out in a pasta machine. But it's a matter of just gently rolling it out like this until you get the right thickness. Turn it around and just roll it out. It takes a few minutes to do, so don't worry if it does pull back a little bit. You can always just go away for a couple of minutes and come back to it. But a gentle roll out like this will give you a really nice noodle. And every now and again, just dust it with a little bit of flour to stop anything from sticking and just roll it out like that. Turn it over like that to make sure the bottom's nicely, uh, nicely rolled out as well and has a nice amount of flour on it to stop it from sticking and off you go. Roll this out for a few minutes and we'll get the right thickness. And that's the next important bit. Okay, just rolling off the edges. It looks great. And I roll it out till I can just see my hand underneath it. I can just see it there, nice and clean. That's the thickness I like. But you can roll it out to whatever thickness you want. Now, just dust that with a nice amount of flour because we're going to cut the noodles. And I just fold it like that, fold it like that, and then dust it with a tiny bit more flour on top there like that, and then fold it like this. This is probably the quickest and easiest way to cut the noodles. Grab yourself a chopping board, slide it in like this, and you'll see underneath my board here, here's a little tip, 
a wet cloth here, that stops the board from sliding around. And then with a good knife like this, you just cut it to the thickness that you want all the way through here. Make sure you well dust it with flour so there's plenty of it so nothing sticks. And I just slice it nice and thin. If you want to, you can make thick noodles, thin noodles, thin like spaghetti or vermicelli, whatever you like. So you just slice it through like that till you've got the right amount you need. There we go. And then all you need to do, see, look, look at that, looks great, is pop them straight into water. I've got some water over the side here. Plenty of salt goes in there. You need to make sure there's plenty of salt when you're boiling your noodles up. In they go like that. And then the noodles go straight in there beautifully like that. Turn it up just a little bit to get some heat in there. And then just stir it around gently. These are fresh noodles. They don't, they, they don't take long to cook. And as soon as they come up to the top, they will be ready. Just a little stir around like that. You can see they're just starting to change color a little bit, so they won't be long at all. A quick little wipe down the bench here like this, and you can see I've got all my lovely ingredients ready to go. And once the noodles come to the top, they'll be ready to take out. Now in here, I like to dress the bowl up from the bottom up. I've got some soy sauce that goes into there and some chili. I love this chili here. It's a crispy chili sausage you can get just about anywhere. Some green beans go in there as well that have been blanched and chopped, some ginger, Nicely grated ginger goes in there as well. Some spring onions from my garden. Some red onions from uh, my garden or the garden next door. And some deep fried shallots. You have gotta have some of that in there as well. And as you can see, the noodles are just about to come up to the top there. This won't take long at all. So once they're ready, I'll just drain them off a little bit. Oh, I can't wait for this one. Give them a quick little tap to drain off and then into the bowl there like that. A few more of these in here like that. Onto my little strainer. Oh, smells fantastic. And on top there like that. A few spring onions on top and some red onions as well. And of course, just a little bit of soy sauce. And this is the thing to eat these properly. Fresh noodles like this, you grab the bowl and you just turn it around. Mix everything together with the noodles and the dressing, it smells fantastic. That ginger's come through it, the onions in there as well, and the noodles. I'm just salivating, I can taste this is gonna be great. And just a little sprinkle of salt, just in case. Mix that around for the last little bit, that chili's gonna be nice and hot. And then, mm, that is really easy. The noodles have got a little bit of bite to them, but they're really filling and really delicious. They've just soaked everything up. A really, really simple and quick noodle dish Made it home. Mm. That's really good.